Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you, Marlene? I'm fine, teacher. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see everybody over here. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Julio? I'm good, teacher. Yeah. Hi, Ivan. Nice to see you. Oh, it was it was it was good. Uh, here, thank you very much. It was good preparing cl your classes and everything, but it was good. Thanks, thanks, guys. Okay, so so it was good. <clears throat> oh. Thank you. How was yours? Oh, I went to Sudan. Uh, uh, last uh, Saturday or Sunday? Saturday, or? yeah. Oh. Last Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, it was raining and it was so hot. It was so hot, yes. Uh, the weather, the climate has been, it's been, it's getting hot and hotter, hotter and hotter. Okay, uh, please uh, get, help me with your cameras, okay? Um, you're not able to see me now. You are. <laughs> I'm sorry. My camera was disconnected. Please help me with your cameras, guys. So please, please, I'm begging you because it's muy importante que me ayuden con sus cameras. Uh, menos que no pueda, pues que tenga dificultades, pues let me know, but try to fix it, okay? Uh, because we need, we need to see each other, okay? So thank you, Francisco. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Marlene. Francisco, thank you. Lino, thank you very much for doing that. Did you, uh, were you able to download the document that I sent you in order that you can type or, or write on it or work on it and take notes and do some exercises? Were you able? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, uh, Australino. How are you? I'm fine. Yes, excellent. In my case, uh, maybe 90% in the platform. Ah, okay. You're working over there? Okay, good. Uh, that document, uh, I sent it to you uh, in, a, in a Word document. And uh, some of the, the exercises, I just uh, cut them and pasted over there. But I put some charts, some like recuadros that you can type on it. Okay, so in order to do the exercises. And uh, the part of the grammar uh, today, the part of the grammar, the, the forms that we, we are going to, to study, I will send you on a break of rooms, but I will go to one of the rooms and I will stay there because last Saturday, last uh, Friday, last Thursday, I have issues with uh, with the with with breakout rooms. It, it got stuck on the computer, so I lost a few minutes. Not with you guys; it was with another group. So, and uh, I will send you to work in group of three years. Okay. Okay, so meanwhile, that uh, you're, uh, the rest of the students, uh, the participants are getting over here. Let me open my presentation. On, I got a message over here. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's see. Okay, good, good, uh, Oscar. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so but welcome, welcome. Uh, you're very welcome. Let me share my presentation and compartir audio, share audio. Okay, today we're going to go in, in session three or four. Which section is this one? Is it three or is it four? Three. Ah, yeah. A three, uh, one, two, three. Yeah, okay, so it's uh, at your server. So it's, it's session uh, four, but it's unit nine. So because we are we are, we are uh, going from unit six to 10, if I'm not mistaken. 
So, and uh, today is uh, Monday, October 16, and uh, 19. So what is, what is the, the session, the section or the unit that we're going to be talking about? What is it? What is it called? At your service. At your service. So at your service. And what kind of services are we talking about? What kind of services are we talking about over here? Any wild guess? If you need to repair uh, your car, where do you go? Mechanic. Ah, you go to the mechanic. You you go to the body shop or to the workshop. Uh, body shop, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so you go to the mechanic. If you need a haircut, where do you go? Beauty where salon. Ah, beauty salon. Yes, ladies go to beauty salon. And men go to? Barber. Barber shop. Uh, the, the barber shop. <laughs> I paid and, and paid $3 for it. <laughs> or $2. Yeah, so uh, to the barber shop, to the workshop, or to the mechanic. And uh, if you need a, let's see, um, uh, make up a dress or, or repair uh, 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 one of your clothes, where do you go? Or make up a dress or make up a suit or make up a pants, where do you go? Mm, can be to the tailoring service. To the tailor service, yes, we go to the tailor. Okay, so those are going, those things are going to talk about. So services that we got, we need, and and but we pay for it okay so services we need in order to that's what i would talk so everyday services recommendations and self-improvement so that's where we're going to go okay the snack shop what is the snack shop learning of the day talk about commonly offered services uh, talk about commonly offered service, the, the ones that you already mentioned, guys. Uh, but well, the question is, where do you get a, 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 a haircut? You already mentioned. Usually barbershop. Barber yeah, uh, men's usually at the barbershop and women to a beauty salon. Okay, a beauty salon. And... Uh, so when you go to the hair salon or the beauty shop, do you come out, do you leave the place with a product or with a service? With a service. Uh, yeah, usually men only get, uh, we leave the, the tailor. Uh, no, 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 it wasn't at the tailor, the, the barbershop, <laughs> the barbershop with a service, okay? And what about you ladies? In a beauty salon, do you live with a service or with a product? Sometimes with a product. Ah, okay, sometimes with a product. Or oh, can be both, right? So you get Actually, the Actually, I guess that that will depend to the budget. <laughs> yes, exactly. Thank you, Giovanni. Thank you. It depends on the budget, right? Really. But uh, usually ladies, if they got a product, so they live with a product. But usually uh, women uh, get both. But only men, I never, I always got over there only a service. Okay, which ones, which ones are the most common service in El Salvador? Which ones are the most common services in El Salvador? Uh huh. There's many. There are many, yes, yes. Actually, it's oh. for example, um, delivery for service. A, delivery service. For a copying. For a copying, right, exactly. For a delivery, for a copying. What else? What else is the most commonly service? Delivering, for a copying. Are there others? 
Company services. Company services, okay, that they give different services to um, in the same area and the same company, they 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 have service service. Well, this is not um, this is uh, services uh, most common services, you know, in in the United States that they offer, um, that they offer a commonly offered service in the United States, right? So, uh, the first one. What is the first one? House painting. House so painting. painting, okay. <laughs> How often do you get house painting? Never. Never. I, I do for uh, by myself. <laughs> ah, you do it yourself. Okay, good. Oh, I yeah. agree with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, me too. Have to save uh, some money. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, like three years before, I hope that I don't get punished because I'm telling you myself, like three years before, I painted the whole house. I, I did it myself. So in uh, last year, some, you know, uh, uh, men uh, fix, came to fix the, the bathroom because it was broken. And he said, you know how much you save over there? No, I say, I have no idea. Well, it was like four hundred dollars that you saved by painting you the house. Yeah, exactly. So uh, many of you, I guess, agree with her, right? And what yeah, about next the... time you need to call us? Oh, okay, <laughs> I will definitely. I will. <laughs> <laughs> and what is another service that uh, people give in the United States? The second one that is next to house painting. But city. Mm -hmm. uh, pet sitting. Do we have that service here in El Salvador? Not much common. Mm -hmm. Not as common. No, yeah. Uh, Not as common, yeah. No, but there are a few people who uh take care of the, the of the pets. But I'm thinking to do it myself when I retire though. And another one. Hey, just a question. Yes. What is it to do the, the pet sitting? I thought that it was only to walk your dog, <laughs> or is it care for the dog? No, it's a, it's take someone who take care of the of the pets. Meanwhile, you're take away care. or same. Uh huh. But it can. Oh. Uh huh. Exactly. All right. <laughs> we'll see the vocabulary because I have the vocabulary over there. But it's 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 like that. Okay, and another one is uh, language tutoring. Is this very common in El Salvador? Yes, nowadays. Yes, nowadays. Nowadays, because of the languages comes a need. Okay, so yes. And the other one is house cleaning. House cleaning. House cleaning. Do we have that service over here? Yes. 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 Do you saw? Uh, I work in my my weekend. I work in house cleaning. Ah, yes. Okay, good. Excellent. Congratulations. <laughs> you know, my wife, like at the beginning of the year, was talking about it. She said, maybe if we clean uh, some apartments, some offices, we can do better. <laughs> okay, so, and uh, the other is? Music lesson. Music lesson. lesson. Is this very common here? Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, yes. more or less. More or less. Why do you say more or less? For me, not is for me, not is very frequently, but ah, ah. maybe if 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 you like uh, play the instrument, an instrument. Mm -hmm. It's very Maybe. important for to take a, a, a lesson. Ah, okay, okay. So, yeah. fantastic. And the other one is financial services in the United States, an essay typing, a handyman services. Okay. <clears throat> Which one is this, do you think is more common in our country? From the eight that we have over there. Which ones are? Huh? House cleaning. House cleaning. And music lesson for me is, is uh, some very common because nowadays um, there's uh, music lessons virtually too. 
Ah, oh, really? Yes, I was. I was uh, listening to La 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 Kids, and 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 uh, uh, young people are taking music lessons. Yes, yes. Okay, house cleaning, music lessons. What else? Handmen services too. Handmen service and the men services also. It's very common in in El Salvador. And uh, and is there one more from the services that here that are very common in El Salvador? I have seen many language tutoring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, in fact, many language tutoring and the other is one of the subjects in Spanish. Which one is? The subjects in Spanish. There are a lot of tut tutoring on, on that subject. <laughs> Which one? Would... For example, math, math, math assignment, math, science. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Almost always it's English, I guess, and math. Yes, English and math is the most common. My wife is a math teacher, so she doesn't give a tutoring on, on math, but but those are the most common over there now. Okay, what about the, are there all these in El Salvador that are very popular? I guess you already mentioned. Okay. And why would someone need these services? I guess you already answered the question. But uh uh, Carla Delgado, why will people need uh, these services? Because they are important, maybe in in the moment for them or for other people. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Carla. Good. Excellent. Jorge Alberto and. Why will people, uh, I mean, uh, uh, what are the reasons what uh, people uh, call these services and not doing themselves? For example, me, I, I decided to do, paint my house by myself because I had the time. I didn't have the money to pay someone else, to be honest. So that's why I decided that was a good reason for me to do it myself. I think that's the same uh, reason for uh, people because some people uh, don't have the time to do it. And, mm -hmm. and some people have the enough money to pay for that. Uh, yeah. Yes, exactly. Uh, some people don't have the time and they have the money or well. If he... And sometimes people uh, don't like to do it and <laughs> better pay for that. Yes, exactly. For me, it took a lot of time. Okay, good. And uh, this is the vocabulary, guys, that, uh, that uh, you have it over there. I guess I put it in the document, okay? At, uh, at tutoring. What is tutoring? Working with one person to give extra help in a uh, class. Yes, exactly. So that's uh, to, uh, to give extra help as a class. Yes, Daniel? Hi, yes. teacher, and hi, everyone. Can you hi, hear me? Hello. Yes, very well. Okay, thank you. Hey, teacher, I have a question. What do you mean when you say... I guess, or similar song. Ah, uh, me? When I say I guess? Yeah, what does it mean, Dad? It, it's, it's just an expression. I use it as an expression, but it's like, I think so. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying that I'm not sure. I just say, I guess. No. I use it like as an expression. Okay. I guess, but uh -huh. how do you write that? If I'm not mistaken, G U E S. T. Giovanni, help me over there. Is that correct? Because there are two guests. There are two guests. Yeah, yeah. yeah Giovanni, but I, 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 I but just I see... hear Giovanni too. That expression. And uh -huh. you too. And I, and I have a question. It's similar, yeah. like uh, when the expression when the 
some people talk and say and says, I mean that uh, I mean exactly like that. Yeah, okay, thank you. It's it's not a minimum at all. It's just an expression. Um, uh, okay. thank you for asking, thank Daniel. You. Very well. Thank, uh, you. thank you. I did it, Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Ronnie. Yes. And um, pet, uh, pet sitting. What is a? What did I say that it was a pet sitting? Taking care of someone's pet. Uh, uh, taking care of someone's pet, uh, especially when people are awake, and don't people don't like? Well, I I do like animals. In fact, my house is a is a complete zoo. Uh, okay. And a handyman. What is a uh, what is the definition of a handyman? A person who does many houses. Or... Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He can he can for example the the guy who comes over here he know a lot about uh, putting bricks together. He knows how to paint. He knows how to uh, work with the electricity. So it, that's a that's a a person who many chores. And they oh. And there, those are the from the vocabulary in Snapa. What are some common services in El Salvador? We already discussed it, but uh, photocopying is one. What was the other? And what was Can another? We have the two, two examples that we use on service of the government. For example, ah. penal center solvency and the police solvency. Ah, police symbols. Okay, good, excellent, excellent. So great, fantastic. Okay, uh, we already mentioned that. Let me go back to uh, this one over here. Okay, uh, on the document, I sent some vocabulary. Please uh, study them. Uh, I know that maybe you know them, but uh, this is these uh, definitions are very good because they are totally academic. What is means academic? that they are very specific and very short that the it was easy for the people to understand them okay and the perspective so we are talking about services and over there the perspective what is the the learning objectives over there this Okay, discuss problems, see, have, oh, I, I forgot to underline it and highlight it, or get, to get something done, okay? So this is, uh, uh, let, okay, I will play the audio for uh, just a few lines and see what you get over there. Or listen to it. Unit 9. At your service. Page 58. Exercise 2. Perspectives. Part A. Listen to an advertisement for Hazel's personal services. Would you use a service like this? Hazel's Personal Services. Do you ever have questions like these? Where can I get my hair cut for a reasonable price? Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? Where can I get someone to upgrade my computer? Do you know where I can have my leather jacket cleaned? Do you know where you can have all these things done? Call Hazel. 646-555-2121. Hazel offers. Okay. What we just listened to. It, it is a survey. It is an interview. Or is an ad. An ad. It's an ad. An ad. Yes. An ad. You know what a survey is, right? Yeah. And uh, when you ask questions, people about certain things, like nowadays in El Salvador, the surveys are very popular, but uh, political uh, surveys, right? Or uh, an interview. <clears throat> what is an interview? Uh, okay. 
Yes, when you have someone and you start questioning the person about certain topic, certain issues. Um, we have many. Do we have many interviews in, in uh, on TV every day? Yes, of course. There are many people who got interviews. I will make the propaganda. News. Yes, uh, um, they go to, they invite someone and uh, they ask questions about economical situation, political situations, what can we do about, um, I was uh, I was watching for a little bit, a guy who's taking care of, of, of sports in El Salvador. So, but we just listen, what we just listen is that, uh, it was uh, an ad, okay, about Hazel, saying, uh, what is Hazel uh, saying that they can do in, the, in her company? Uh, uh, where, can, where can somebody uh, get a, a, a reasonable haircut? Okay, where do, can people can get a reasonable haircut and uh, fix the bike? Uh, what was it? Another one. Uh, I don't want to go to. They were one. able to. Uh, Clean the yeah, laser. To upgrade the computer. Ah, uh, they were yeah. able to yeah. upgrade the computer if the computer was in a, in a good uh, way working. Okay, so we're going to listen again. And this time, if it is possible for you, check out the, listen to the audio and check the services. Uh, you listen on the audio, sorry, I repeated audio, audio. Um, listen to the audio and check the services that they offer. Okay, that was the, the sentence, no, on the audio that you hear. So one of the, one of the things that you have is music. If, I, I'm not saying that they have, we're going to find out. I'm sorry that I'm drinking water. My I got a little cough. And the services they might offer are what is it? Music lessons. Music lessons, and the other is laundry and dry cleaning. And laundry and dry cleaning. Computer uh -huh. support. Computer support. Finance, Finance. 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 services. services. Uh huh. Beauty services. Beauty Beauty services. services. Repair, repairs. repairs, yeah, tutoring, tutoring, and pet sitting. Pet sitting. What is a pet sitting? Oops. What is a pet sitting? Taking care, care of the, the pet. Take care uh, taking of care of the pet, especially when someone is away. Okay. okay. Oops. Okay. Sorry. Oh, by the way, check out the services that you hear over there. That they offer. Unit 9. At your service. Page 58. Exercise 2. Perspectives. Part A. Listen to an advertisement for Hazel's personal services. Would you use a service like this? Hazel's Personal Services. Do you ever have questions like these? Where can I get my hair cut for a reasonable price? Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? Where can I get someone to upgrade my computer? Do you know where I can have my leather jacket cleaned? Do you know where you can have all these things done? Call Hazel, 646-555-2121. Hazel offers computer support, repairs, beauty services, financial services, laundry and dry cleaning, pet sitting. If Hazel doesn't offer the service you need, she'll find someone who does. Uh huh. What uh, what do, do they offer? Laundry and dry cleaning, computer support, beauty services, 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 beauty
Evalemias Michelle Beatriz. Good evening. How are you? Michelle? Are you there? Jorge Solorzano, are you there? Gabriel Hernandez, help me out. What did she say if they don't have the services? What will they do? Uh huh. Wendy Paola, hello, how are you? Catherine Liz Lisbeth Espinosa. Remember that I'm not saying that we're not looking for good answers or bad answers. We're just looking for you to participate, to say something. Okay, what will they do, guys, if they don't have the services or a service? Uh huh. Anyone can tell. Anyone can say. Ah, okay, Michelle. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Uh huh. What will they do if they don't have the service? I don't remember, but I think that she said that if you don't find someone that can do the service, and uh, if Hazel does not have that service, you should find someone that can do it. They can find can someone. Yes, they can find someone who can do it if they don't have the service. Thank you very much. Good. Excellent. So, okay. Let me see something over here. Ah. Okay, so we're going to see. So over there in the perspective, we, oh, I'm sorry, it's exercise three. It's not nine, okay? So on the perspective over there, they introduce, remember that the conversation or perspective for this program introduces how to use, they read, they give real um, examples of, of the context that we are studying uh, over here. So they introduce uh, the have or get something done. So let's listen to these uh, things over Page there. 59, exercise three, grammar focus, have or get something done. Use have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Active. Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? You can have Hazel's personal services fix your bike. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Passive. Do you know where I can have my bike fixed? You can have your bike fixed by Hazel's personal services. You can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. Okay. Uh, one more time, notice the verse on the active voice, and then we had the passive voice. Okay, so notice the verse over there. They are in highlight. Page 59, <coughs> exercise three, grammar focus. Have or get something done. Use have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Active. Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? You can have Hazel's personal services fix your bike. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Passive. Do you know where I can have my bike fixed? You can have your bike fixed by Hazel's personal services. You can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. What is the characteristic of the active? Look at the birds. They are highlight. What are the characteristics of the birds? In the present. 
repose, in past the repose. In yeah. The active teacher, in the passive, the is in, in the, the past. Form. Yes. But in the passive is a past part. Exactly. So in the active, both verbs are in the in the in in the present form, or they are in the infinitive. I mean, there are the base form of the verse, as you said. In the passive, notice it that the the second verb no have or get, they are in the what form? Past participle. Past participle. Yes. So on the first one, let me see. You see, there are fix. Do you know where I can get? Uh, I can have someone fix my bike, or I. Or I can use repair my car. Do you know where I can have someone repair my car or fix my car or repair my car? It has to be in the present. And so have or get, both are in the present plus. And the first, on the second sentence, we using the base form, but not the infinitive. So for example, you can have Hazel personal service fix your bike. And the other one, you're using the infinitive. You're, we are using two fix. And you already said that. Okay, let me see if I can explain that in a different way. Okay, look at the sentence, at the first sentence over there. I cut my hair. What did this mean? Go to the barber shop. Uh, Actually, it means uh, that this is a routine of habit, but uh, it mean, maybe it means that I cut it myself, but that's impossible, okay? I need someone else to cut my hair. So every time I pay someone, so that's the word it say, have or get something done because we pay. Okay, but look at the second one. I have my hair cut. By whom? By someone, someone else. By someone else. So that means that I paid. Look at the formation of the of the of the sentence. I have have plus the object. What is the object? Yeah. Ah, my hair. My hair is the object. I color it over there. I spend some time doing. <laughs> I okay. My hair, and then pass the past participle. What it, which one is the verb in the past participle over there? Verb cat. Verb cat, because cat, 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 okay? Um, uh, set, 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 and then we say speak a sp uh, spoken, okay? So the verb is cat, so it means that I pay for it. I couldn't do it myself. On the first sentence, that's what I mean. I cut my hair, but it's a habit, it's a routine, and it's impossible that I, I did it myself. Let me see this other sentence. We have our clean, our windows cleaned. What is that? We have have, and the object is? Our windows. And the, and the verb in the past participle is? Cleaned. Ah, hmm. cleaned. But is uh, what is the sentence? Simple Thank present. You. Simple yes. present because I'm using okay. have us in the simple present tense. Yeah. Okay. That's why it's in the simple present. But then I have another sentence. What is it? I mean, this is a simple present. Remember that it's a routine. It's a habit. Okay. But what is the other one? I we have now our windows clean. Our yeah. we had our windows clean. What it means? That is a habit, or I already have the windows clean. It means that someone. It means that someone clean our windows. This is not on the document that I send you. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I like to use some videos, but uh, I cannot use it over here because of, of the rights, okay? And then, uh, so that is, a, I had our windows clean. So it means that the windows are already clean. 
they are not dirty anymore. And the author and the and the first sentence, I do it from, from time to time. So that's the scene. But still, even though it's the present, uh, we have the verb in the in the in the past participle. Can I use got, uh, got uh, our windows clean on the second sentence? Can I use uh, got? Yes, it will keep the same meaning that the windows are already clean. They are not dirty anymore. And the other one, it means uh, that uh, it's so some. Yes, Giovanni? Yeah, only in addition, uh, we need to take care about this one. Because what about if I, in the first sentence, for example, I cut my hair. I just said that it's impossible to do it by yourself, right? But yes. in this in this grammar topic, that, that's the, the means. But yes. is it possible? What about if I take a scissors and I want to, to do it by myself and I do it? Yeah, probably uh, I did it. But if yeah. I want to explain that, yes, I need to add something. I cut my hair by myself. By myself, exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, be careful, be careful that you can use at or by. For example, I can say, I, I cut my hair at a barbershop. But the barbershop can uh, cut my hair. Who, who do it or who does it? Who does it is the question. The, the barber, right? The barber. And then I had, I had my hair cut by the barber. And I had my hair cut at the barber shop. Okay? So you have to be careful on that one. By the barber, I had fixed, I got fixed my car by the mechanic. But I had fixed my car at the, at the body shop or by the body shop. I, those I can use, it's kind of weird, the second one, but I can use it like that. Uh, so far, so good, <laughs> guys. More or less, it says uh, Carla, thank you. Okay, just take notes of this one real quickly, and then I'll send you like a, a round. Yes? Just, just a question, for example, in this one, in this one that you have highlighted as a simple present sentence, uh, can can we call it as an active uh, as an active sentence? And the uh, other one as passive? Yes, I guess so. Let's go back and let's go back and um, and see it. Uh, no, it's it's up. Yes, it's an active because the verb, the verb is and the passive. I mean, in the passive, because the verbs are in it has to be in the in the past participle. So uh, it's in the passive, even the present and the past participle also. They are in the passive. All right. Okay. And this is what I send you in the document, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, have plus someone plus base point on the verb. Um, you can have repair shop fix your pipe. Uh, that's the active. So we have base point on the verb. If you notice over here, fix. And, and uh, the, uh, the, the object or someone is the, they call, I call it the object in the previous sentence, but it is the object or someone, which is the repair, the repair shop. And uh, the same scene of this one, you can, you have get someone plus the infinity. Remember that the infinity verb is to fix, to repair, um, to cut, and so on. So this is in your document. And the passive voice is the same. Have or get plus the object. What is the object? Your bike. Plus past participle. And you can say at the shop or by a shop. 
but you can you only say by the mechanic, no at the mechanic, by the mechanic. If you use the person who fix it. Okay. These are some exercises that I sent you over the air. So let, I will say, how many are we right now? I'll send you 15 minutes in a, in a, but let me, let me take attendance. First, uh, Ana Ivania. Ana Ivania. Daniel Alejandro Yanes. Present teacher, I'm here. Okay. Eh, Eduardo Jose Melgar. Eduardo Jose Melgar. Francisco Antonio Calderón. Present. Gabriel Jose Hernández. Gabriel, I saw you over there. Gabriel, but you need to answer, Gabriel. Giovanni, Giovanni Stanley. I'm here, teacher. Yeah, thank you. Hector Ivan Perez. Present, teacher, present. Ivan Ebrahim Ramirez. Present, teacher. Eh, Janet Carolina Rivera. Yeah. Janet, Janet, Jorge Alberto, Jorge Alberto, eh, José Lino, present teacher, Julio César, present mister, Carla Selena, present teacher, eh, Carla René Delgado, present teacher, Eh, Catherine Lisbeth Espinosa Rodríguez. Present teacher. Eh, Luis Eduardo Méndez. Present. Eh, Marlene Elizabeth Valle. Present teacher. Eh, Melissa Stephanie Linares. Present teacher. Eh, Michelle Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Uh, Natalie Antonio, uh, sorry, sorry, Neptali Antonio Mejia. Present, sure. And sorry, Neptali, about it. Oscar Al Alexander Santana. Present, teacher. Uh, Oscar Dulio Amador. Present. Uh, Rebecca Maria Rosales. Okay. Romeo Vladimir uh, Rosales. Romeo. Eh, Sara Elisa Belloso. Present. Eh, Sofía Elizabeth Pérez. Sofía. Wendy Paola López. Present teacher. Eh, Xiomara Violeta Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jenny Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Let me send you to, okay, I will send you, we are 25, so in group of three, how many uh, breakout rooms there will be? Three or three? Eight. Uh, eight, Two. okay. okay. Uh, let me. I will just give you 10 minutes. At least I want you to do the exercises together. I will check it out tomorrow. So, but don't leave. Okay. We'll, you, you have to come back to, uh, to the uh, breakout room, uh, main room at the end of the class. I will give you just only uh, 10 minutes. Chair, can, can you share for uh, very briefly uh, the capture of the uh, sentence that you oh, 
Um, let me see if I can do it because I already have the breakout rooms. Uh, let me see if I can do it. I don't know if I if you are able to see it because I have the chart for the breakout rooms already over there. Are you able to see it? Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, we can. Okay. Uh, these are the exercises that you're going to do. You're going to match the. Uh, the two column sentences, then you're going to ask questions using and uh, do you know, like it says over there. And then uh, uh, you're going to write the eight sentences or four sentences over there. Then you're going to write the sentence and I cannot see it. <clears throat> ah. Okay, someone fix and then um, let me see. The thing is that I can ask. Ah, okay, these are the answers already. That this is, you shouldn't see it. Okay, those are the, the questions over there, the complete questions from the matching the, the two columns. And then you have to write a sentence using the passive. I mean, I uh have -huh, the passive, not the active. The first uh, one is on the is on the active, okay, and the second one is on the passive. So those those will be the the things. But it says over there. It's explaining over there. I hope so. Uh, actually, time is running. Let me give you less time before I assign because the time. I will give you yeah, like seven minutes to discuss, okay? You should be getting the invitation right now. Okay, you just got uh, seven minutes. Please go to the breakout rooms. <laughs> okay, I'm not participating. It's only you, okay? <laughs> Don't be afraid. Just talk whatever you want about the topic and the sentences. Mm. 
Eh, disculpa, solo voy a estar aquí de observador y no me voy a salir porque la vez pasada me anduve brincando y se me trabó esto. <laughs> ok, so don't worry about it. Ok, and I imagine you want to have someone to do these things for you. I was pressing using the active call of a forget. Uh, only the active voice, teacher, really? Yes, you have, for example, the first example over there. It says, uh, do you know where I can get someone short in my skirt? It's the example. This is the one. Okay. So, uh-huh. And what will be the second one? Do you know where I can cut... My head. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. In the uh, in that sentences, uh, we need to change the verb. Uh, no. If you look over there, uh, the the first one is shorten my skirt. No, you don't need to. And the active, you don't need to change. You just uh, say, oh, need to say. Do you know where? Uh, uh, where I can get uh, or have my hair, uh, someone cut my, uh, to cut my hair. Mm -hmm. You use the infinity. Okay, thanks. Look at the example. So, of, look at the example over there. The only thing that you need to add is, do you know where I can get uh, someone to cut my hair? And, and what, what, are, what are the difference in to have and, and get? None, none. You can use, you can use uh, either. You can use, uh, uh, do you know I can where? use both. I, you can use both, exactly. And the and the connotation will be the same one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I want to have someone um, message my neck. Uh huh. Uh, which one is it? Uh, keep 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 the same one as, as the example over there. Do you know where I can get uh, I can get someone okay. to cut my hair? It write uh, um, a question mark. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know where I can get someone, someone. to message my neck? Uh -huh, exactly, to message my neck mm -hmm. and write a, a, a question mark. You will write the active voice on the on the next exercise. Okay, the next one uh, to the, um, let me say, um, do you know where I can get someone Repair, repair to fix my scooter. Uh -huh. Exacto. Fix, uh, uh, do you know where I can get someone to fix my scooter? Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't complicate. What I want, uh, keep the same pattern. Yeah. Uh huh. The, the other one, uh, uh, the number three, uh, do you know where I can get someone to repair my bike? Exactly. Uh -huh. okay. Exactly. Okay. Don't complicate. Keep the same pattern. Uh, do you know where I can get... Uh, now let me see for number five. Take my fast passport photo. Uh, do you know where I can uh, get the uh, photo studio to take my passport photo? 
maybe? Uh, no, no, don't change anything. Just uh, keep like, do you know where I can get uh, someone to take a photo of my... Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't add any words, okay? Mm -hmm. Just keep the the words that we are using over there. Yeah. I understand. Okay, we're going to go um, back to the main room right now to say goodbye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any difficulties with uh, the words? I mean, the questions that you were writing over there? Let me uh, share with, with this one. Oh. Okay, so uh, in this case, guys, uh, don't change anything. You're writing active voices. So, for example, on a number, a number, a number two says, "Do you know where I can get uh, someone to cut my hair?" And then you write uh, the question mark. Number three, what will be the sentence? Keep the same pattern. Don't add any words and don't omit any words also. Number three, what will be the, the thing? The question. Uh-huh. Do you know where I can get someone to repair my watch? Repair my watch. Someone to repair my watch. That's it. Okay. So that's what you see in over there. So um that's what I was saying. So keeping the same pattern over there. And these are the answers. You can use have or get, okay? So uh, look at the answers. We didn't change anything. Not necessary to change anything. So someone could do my hair. Do you know where I can get? You can use have or get, no problem. And these are the answers, okay? So, that's the, the, the way it is. This is the active, okay, in the simple present. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Please uh, don't miss classes. Don't uh, quick the class, okay? No se me retiren, no se me vayan, manténganse. I need to, con I need to continue working. No, please, uh, uh, do the exercises on the platform, be a day, don't give up, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I won't give up. Okay, bye. Have a great time. Okay, I, thank you so much. Good night. Good night, good night guys. Good night. 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 Good night.